Hey everybody and welcome back to the farm. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this new Holland 3930. Uh, I had a guy ask me about the fuel shutoff on this tractor. He's a, I think it's 3930 uh, owner. And I think he's having some issues with uh, getting getting it to start. So I thought I'd bring you along and uh, shoot a video mo mostly for him, but it may help some other folks out too. And uh, we'll take a look at this fuel system on this tractor. So fuel comes out through this shutoff valve under here. See it right there. And it travels down to these two fuel filters and then down into the pump, the main injection pump here. And then from there it goes to all the injectors. But down here at the bottom of this pump, see this wire right here. That is your fuel shutoff on these tractors. It also has a, a manual shut off up here on the top, this lever right here. If you wanted to add a, a manual shut off, it would attach in this lever right here and if you pulled it, it would cut the fuel off. It's spring loaded so it comes back. So this needs to be all the way up. I sh I'll demonstrate the ability of this cut the fuel off. You don't think I'm full of crap. Let's crank it up. Alright, so if your electric cylinder or whatever goes bad and you can't figure out how to stop your tractor, just pull this lever back right there and that'll stop it. So if you could figure out if you're having problems with these uh, shut off solenoids and they do give issues. We have knock on wood, we haven't had any issues with this tractor, but I have heard of folks having issues with it. If you could bypass that, you could just use that manual shut off. Let's take a little closer look at this shut off valve here. Now, what you got is a one wire deal, and it's pretty much self-grounded so when you turn the switch on it sends power to the solenoid it's like a plunger that sucks the plunger in and then it's spring loaded so when you take the power off it shoots back in there now see if i can get you in the shot what we're going to do is right now the switch is off so we'll check it well, i know i'm going to stick this in there ain't supposed to but I'm just going to ground it so there's no voltage. I'm going to turn the switch on. Dang, flies all over my ear. Alright, so we ground it out. With the switch on, you see voltage so we know we've got power going, going to the Solenoid with the switch on should have voltage on that wire. All right, so how do you know if your solenoid is bad? Well, if you've got fuel to here and you crank this thing over, take the pop you know, one of the injection lines loose to see if you got anything coming out. If you don't have anything coming out, then that's shut. So let's just we know this is a good solenoid, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to ohm it and just let you know. It looks like I've got about 11 ohms, 10, 11 ohms on a known good shut off. A little bit hard to get. It had some rust on it. That's the reason I didn't want to read. But, uh, so I would assume that on a bad one, you'd have an open circuit so you would never read anything. All right, so to replace it, of course, you want to shut your fuel off right here. That'll kill this whole circuit. And then this thing looks like it just screws in. So you can see right here. But it's uh, like a little hex fitting. You can put a 
uh, get you a socket or something going. It's going to be close to this fuel line right here. So unscrew it, screw the new one in. Should be all there is to it. And then you may have to bleed the system. And what I do is once you cut your fuel shut off back on, uh, so get you some fuel going down. You should keep your filter should be full. If you want to crack this valve right here open, get a little fuel out of it, and then close it back off, and then you can crack your injector line, turn it over till you start seeing fuel, and close them up, and it should crank up. So I hope this helps troubleshooting on the uh, electric fuel shutoff valve. And I'm thinking they use these on a lot of a lot of newer tractors, not just the 3930s, but pretty much all of them, all the newer ones, modern tractors. The old ones had those cable pulls. So, like I said, if you could figure out some way of of just plugging that hole, you could just rig your cable up to the shutoff and just pull it to, to kill it, push it in to crank it, and you wouldn't have to worry about that. But uh, I don't know. It's I don't know how much these solenoids are. Maybe 50, 60 bucks. I think it may not even be that much. Pretty easy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for all the noise, but right here by this uh, busy road. So uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for more.